Welcome back to the Helping Your Garden Go video series. Uh, last year we showed you installing our Jaguar fence system. And what we're doing, this is the new springtime in Michigan. It's been, been through one season of the whole growing season and it's been through one whole Michigan winter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, this spring, I decided that I needed a bigger entrance to my garden to get compost in, to till it, to do whatever I need to do. So we're gonna add a, uh, we're gonna add a larger, easy gate here to allow us access for bringing uh, you know, yards of compost in or whatever I want to do. We're going to install an easy gate, a larger easy gate for easy access. Uh, these pole, the distance between these two poles is about 9 feet. Most, most would be about 12 feet, but you can always make them any size you want just by adding a second pole. You can buy an easy gate kit and then uh, these black diamond edging barriers. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the material at this pole, this is where I want it to open from, and then we're going to cut the metal and plastic fence at the soil line. Now, once you get to the metal, you can't use a razor knife because it just won't cut. So, we're just going to keep cutting this metal fence right here. poles together. We're going to put this fence material back on this pole, but we're going to dig a we're going to dig our barrier first and put our put our uh, black diamond edging in there. And just as we did before, these clips just pop in. Makes installation real easy. Exact. I mean, I just, I want my garden to look good, so I'm going to do it, whatever I need to. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking out this plastic, the metal fence that's in there. So, we're just going to dig this down this line for right now. And when we're done, we'll just peel up that metal fence. Now, the, the next thing we're going to do, since we're pulling up this fence, this fence is still attached at the two ends. So, I'm going to take the soil out so Ryan can get down here and trim this up. Because we don't need it in front of the gate, it's all going to be... So I'll pull this up at this corner for Ryan here and he can trim, cut those off. We're going to pull them up. We're 
just going to set these out so we can have a, a decent look at how they're going to lay out. Remember, have this strip out front. You want to see this strip? Have this strip out front so you can get in out of your garden. Now, you know, you don't have to really do this if you don't feel like it. I just happen to like my garden looking good, and I'm sure most of you do too. And what I'm doing is there's a little edge right in here that I'm putting these right in that corner. The best I know, close as I can. And just driving them through with about a 30 to 45 degree angle. Now these in the soil. The line's just going to fill in the soil. material inside and no animal can pull them up or push them up or whatever. So we're basically, we're done. We just gotta put our Either three or six foot, nine foot, ten foot. You know, you can do seven foot. You just have a little spacing in between. They're all set to go. Enjoy your gardening.